We now go to uh, Paul, Pastor Paul Ade Farazin to join us. Um, let, let me just say, first of all, there's no ban on religious activity. Religious activity can continue, but um, the ban on gatherings of more than 50 people, okay, because of the danger of coronavirus being transmitted. Uh, coronavirus is a very uh, um, is a very uh, infectious disease, and so the, the government has to be very strong in their response to it. So I have absolutely no problem with the suspension of worship services, both by Christians and Muslims, um, while this threat lasts. Uh, it, very simply. Um, nobody is banning religion. Um, you can still continue to pray. You can even have meetings now. You can go into Skype. We are going to conduct our service on Sunday, but it will be streamed live for all our members to participate in. So no, there's no stopping of religious activities. What is happening is, for the time being, no gathering together. As a matter of fact, this is a time for Christians to arise and, and, and declare the Lordship of Jesus Christ. That's my, my belief, that this is a time when they say there's an there's a outbreak of disease, we can show that there can also be an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. We're working on implementation, and so by Sunday we will not have a service in which people come to church, rather church will go to the people through their live stream. Just to correct that, that was Pastor Wale Adefarasin, the General Overseer of Guiding Lights Assembly. We'll take a quick break and we'll be back in a moment. Stay with us.